Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. If I sound terrible or sniffly at any point during this video, it is because I am currently infected with COVID. So that's what's going on with me, but it's very mild, so don't even worry about it at all. I wanted to make this video for you of this unboxing. This is a Savvy Land dust collector. Dust collectors can get a bit steep in price. I got this one on Amazon for about $30, but it was on sale, which I think those sales come up pretty often. So I just wanted to do a little review of this in case you're looking for a dust collector that's more affordable than those big brand ones. Maybe this is going to be a, a good alternative. Um, so this is just what the front of the box looks like. Back here it's got like a little bit of information about it. I'm not able to lift my camera up high enough to show you what it actually says. But that's what's back there. And then on this end it's got like specs and stuff. Um, but let's get rid of the box and look at the dust collector. So first I actually wanted to go over the things that came with it. So this is the power cord. I don't know if you can tell, but this is very short, very short cord. So you're going to need an outlet or an extension cord near you. It also does come with some instructions, very short, very simple. And then it's got these as well. I think these are feet, but they're all on one, like they don't come apart. And you can peel these little circles up. And so my confusion comes from this. Obviously this is where they would go, but when I try and put them in this way, they don't fit. And so I don't know if they're gonna fit shoving it down this way. Is it supposed to just hang around the rim? Maybe. I mean, it seems to fit on there, but I'm afraid that because it's not stuffed down inside, they may end up falling off. But this is the best guess I've got of what to do with these. All right, so let's get into it. And firstly, this is rickety, but it is not the fault of the dust collector. For some reason, my table has some sort of curve in it that I was not aware of, because if I turn this, it's still rickety the same direction. So, I mean, I guess that's a thing. Um, now, in the instructions, it does say that it has a one switch button, but that's just not true at all. There's no switch on here. It's a dial. So this is what the little grate looks like. It is plastic. It doesn't have like a lip of any kind, but if you squeeze it a little bit, you can kind of get this part to come off. It is held on by these little nodules. And the inside of mine seems to be I guess this, this rosy pink color, you can see it much better around the edge. It looks like when they painted it, they probably just did a poor job. This is the filter. It does come out. I think these are just the standard filters. You should be able to just get these by any brand. And then here's the fan. It is plastic. It has a few blades. It seems kind of sturdy, but that's really what the inside looks like. This doesn't snap on or anything. It just fits on. Here is the dial. If I get it too close, you can't hardly see what's going on. Um, but this is the off position, and then it goes all the way around. And that is the speed. I'm going to plug it in in a minute so you can hear it. There's a vent here, and then another one on the other side, just like it, where your air is going to blow out. And then on this side, it's got the Savvy Land brand. So if you've got the brand pointed at you, the vent's on the side, then your knob's going to be on the side as well and your actually your plug is opposite side of the knob so for me I feel like I would rather use it this way with the brand pointing away from me but that's really just up to your personal choice and where your outlet is I don't think it makes any difference at all all right so we've got it plugged in let's just turn it on to the very lowest and this is how it sounds it's really not that loud I hope you can hear me over this though because I know this microphone on this camera picks up pretty well and um, I wouldn't say that I can feel a strong suction but let's put a paper towel on it and then tip it over it is holding and that is on the lowest setting let's turn it up all the way all right 
right, so that is the maximum volume. It is still not that loud. I've heard much louder. I feel like you would be able to have a conversation over this volume if you had someone with you in person. Um, but it may annoy your family if you were just doing this in the living room. Just for fun, let's put two paper towels on it. I'm sure it's not gonna be an issue at all. And tip it up, yeah, no problem. Now I know that some people like to stick these to the wall and see how powerful that suction is, but I'm pretty sure that's not gonna work for this. In fact, the air coming out of the vents feels stronger than the air here, but that's okay. All right, let's turn that off. So, and then as far as the weight, it's not super heavy. Like this is something that you could easily move around, put it away, get it out when you need it. It wouldn't be horribly inconvenient at all. One hand, it's totally fine. I would say that it does have enough weight that I don't think it's just gonna break on me right away, but who knows? Um, I guess I can report pack down the road, but to be fair, I don't do a whole lot of sanding, so I probably will use this here and there. Um, I know that most people like in the reviews talk about it, it's great for beginners and that may very well be. But if you are, you know, casually doing your own nails and you get nail dust everywhere, $30 is not a terrible option. I'm definitely going to leave the link for you in the description as always. It's not an affiliate code or anything, it's just a link so that you can find this product if you want it. Um, and then if you have this particular dust collector, let us know what you think of it and if you've had any problems with it. Um, but that's it. That's all I wanted to bring to you guys today. We just wanted to show you this dust collector, talk about it a little bit. Um, and that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.